Has the market changed its mind about what the Fed may do next? We have got to get inflation behind us. I wish there were a painless way to do that. There isn't. I think this is a two-part policy mistake of historic proportion. I think the odds of a recession in 2023 are oh, very Welcome on to the American with Stina uh, Stockholm. And today is November 25th. Uh, it is 2022. And what we're seeing in the market in Sweden, um, we have a bit more on politics. Uh, and we have a, uh, a few things going through the regulations uh, in, in, the, uh, in the politics in the parliament, and they're going to be voting on things. Um, and then we have a few things to the economy, not much. Um, but uh, we still have a lot of focus on Ukraine. Uh, and, it, and it's terrible now because the people in Ukraine are in a lot of cases. You've had the schools bombed. Uh, so children don't have places for school. If you can think that they're going to be going to school during war. Uh, so that's another thing they have to think about. You have a lack of electricity and power in these regions where Russia's pulled out. Um, they're, you know, they're doing classic Russian strategy, scorch earth, and uh, so burn it as you go, and then let the enemy come in and try to take it, and then you can eventually go back in and wipe them out. Um, I think that's a classic Russian strategy. Uh, you can look at what Carl the Twelfth did, uh, who uh, Napoleon followed his route and followed the same destruction. Uh, and then, of course, there were others who did that afterwards and uh, also met with the same fate. Um, so it'll be uh, uh, very sad for the people in Ukraine, uh, as we see. But the NATO is uh, sending arms. And Jens Stoltenberg over in Norway uh, is saying that we're never going to back down uh, and that uh, we're paying in money and they're paying in blood. So that's the reason why we need to continue. Uh, and, I, and I think that the suffering of the people so far, it's about 100,000 have been killed. Uh, this is awful. And, uh, and when I say 100,000 killed, I'm talking about the Ukrainians. Uh, we're not even adding in the Russians who have been killed, whether they wanted to be soldiers in the war or not, uh, or whether they're there on Putin's demand. Um, you know, certainly these uh, groups like the Wagner Group and the Azov Battalion, um, these seem like uh, very bizarre people. And they have uh, similar ideologies that are inherently racist, uh, but they are, um, they are the ones that are drawing in a lot of the fight. And uh, unfortunately, uh, it seems like a lot of the NATO weapons are going to these, uh, like, for example, the Azov Battalion to fight the Wagner Group. And, um, and so this is really an awful situation. And what's most troubling is we don't see really an ESG reaction to this. Uh, despite the fact that it's causing poverty here in Europe, it's causing poverty in Africa, uh, you still see no move towards a peace table talk. And um, you're, the poverty in Europe is energy so far and soon it will be food. Uh, we have an incredible increase in prices in food in Africa. It's both an energy and a food. Uh, and so uh, it would be great to see some sort of resolution to the conflict. Uh, and some sort of stabilization to what's happening to these people. Uh, and when you're speaking about ESG, uh, the Swedish government that we have now, the coalition has said that they're either doing the climate goals or they're not. And uh, initially that raised a lot of eyebrows and people were upset with this. Uh, but a lot of the people who are working class and the ones who voted them in were very happy to know that they were hopefully going to be getting lower taxes. Uh, that didn't happen. Uh, lower gasoline prices, that didn't happen, uh, and a uh, better energy economy, that has yet to happen. And um, uh, so, uh, of course, our uh, Greta Thunberg has uh, been the primary name in the um, ESG activism, and uh, she uh, recently came out as a communist and wants to tear down the system, and now she's suing the Swedish government. Uh, for its failure to uh, aggressively pursue the climate goals. So um, we'll see where that goes, uh, what sort of uh, debate that rises, uh, rises up with that here in Sweden. And, um, and if we look at the businesses, um, really the shining sector would be somebody like a Northvolt, which is still uh, privately held. Uh, but remember, uh, they were from uh, Scania. And uh, Volkswagen did come out the other day saying how they're going to be producing all their EV uh, cars, electric vehicles in Europe. Uh, the question is where would be energy rich enough to produce these? Germany has gone back to coal. 
for their production. They've not restarted their nuclear. Uh, they are shipping more LNG from the United States. Poland, however, they, they are building new nuclear. Some of the other smaller states are also building nuclear. And if you look here in the Baltics, there's been a look for the nuclear as well. Uh, so you have a lot of surveys going on. But um, really, you don't have an energy-rich environment uh, where you can do it. Some would argue Spain because they do have the sun and the wind uh, and therefore their reliance or need for the solar and the wind could be shifted off maybe towards industrial or focusing on the housing and then using other traditional plants to use for the industry. Um, but in Sweden right now, we're still in a bit of a trouble. Uh, the banks are doing well uh, and, and on the interest rate hike, uh, although Swedbank probably will take some hits uh, because their first woman president uh, or CEO is likely to be charged. The prosecutor is looking for at least two years in her sentencing based on her testimony and the actions of, uh, I said, uh, yeah, Swedbank. Um, but I, um, they, uh, they're certainly under a lot of pressure. And uh, we'll see what, if any of that blows over to Danske Bank. But right now it's just Swedbank. And, um, and then today, of course, we have the EU talking about um, stopping the violence against women. And I think it'd be great if they looked at stopping violence against people. Um, I, I don't know why you need to specify woman, although they're focusing on the crimes against women. And, uh, and that's great. Uh, people in general should not be um, uh, having to suffer attacks. Uh, so uh, in Sweden, that's uh, making a big move and they're highlighting a lot of the crimes that are happening where uh, people are uh, violent against their spouses and they're focusing on the woman, but uh, the Swedish uh, political parties are talking about it should be violence against your spouse, whether it's male or female. So we'll see how it goes. Sweden is uh, generally searching for its identity right now, uh, especially because of the change in the politics, uh, but the business climate has not changed. Uh, we do have some people, uh, economists coming out saying how it's gonna be a very tough 2023 and the economy maybe gets better in 2024 and to back this up they're uh, questioning the bubble uh, the bubble on a lot of the shopping of course today is good uh, or uh, black friday so everybody uh, wants to shop and shop a lot you'll get a lot of messages over the day to uh, get participate in the sales and um, we'll see where that goes but right now the swedish economy is in trouble uh, with the rate hike it will be questionable how fast the economy can recover and if the economy has been slowed down too much. And I think that's the biggest fear that everybody has. So um, uh, I would look more at the, uh, the telecoms, look at the pharmaceuticals, uh, look at uh, the sectors within the renewables. I'm not a fan of the wind power or the solar, but these are certainly areas that are gonna get attraction. And, um, so, uh, and then if you're not playing an ESG game, you can always look at the defensive technologies like Saab, which is apparently building more boats and airplanes and, uh, and other issues. So um, these companies would uh, be in a lot of focus. Uh, so there's always money to be made in the market, whether it's short term or long term, and uh, we wish you the most success in doing so and have a good weekend. Thank you, bye. Thank you.